wanaweza asifiwe muko salama eh <laughs> naona muko haleluya najua yule ayuka ayuko na wewe uko uko bwana asifiwe sana kwa hivyo kilicho muhimu ni kwamba uko kwa nyumba ya Mungu mahali bishop wako anakuona mahali Mungu anakuona na washirika wengine yule ayuko hayuko Leo ningependa tusome kitabu cha Medhali eh, Zaburi 30 mstari wa wa 5 sehemu ya pili Tungependa kuzumuza juu ya ule usiku tunapitia katika maisha ule msimu mgumu tunapitia katika maisha zile changamoto yale mambo yanakusukuma kushoto na kulia tunaweza kusema ni usiku wako kwa hivyo tasoma Zaburi 30 mstari wa 5. Inasema uenda kilio huja kukaa usiku. Lakini asubuhi huwa furaha. Sema uenda kilio huja kukaa usiku. Lakini asubuhi huwa furaha. Kiingereza nasema weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. In other words, yale mambo unapitia ndugu na dada ni usiku wako. Hauoni mema. Hauoni ushindi. Yaani ni kama umefika mahali hujui baada ya hiyo ni nini. Umefika mahali kuna kitu unapigana nacho, ukielewi. Unahitaji Mungu aingilie. Na ningependa kusema usiku uendelea kwa huo muda wote hayo matatizo yote lakini asubuhi yako inakuja Tusome Saburi 34 mstari wa 17 Inasema walilia naye Bwana akasikia sema nililia Bwana akasikia na akawaponya na taabu zao zote Ni wale tu walilia sio wale walinyamaza sio wale walinungunika na kulalamika Sio wale walisema kwamba nimefika mwisho. Sio wale wanasema kwamba imesindikana, haiwezekani. Maandiko nasema walimulilia naye Bwana akasikia. Maana yake ni kusema ndugu na dada kama umulilii Bwana atasikia nini? Ingawa anasikia maombi na kuyajibu, hapa tunatua moyo kwamba yale matatizo napitia ni kama usiku. Yale matatizo napitia ni kama msimu mgumu. Yale mambo napitia kabisa unalia una weep unalia lakini usiku hautaendelea milele kuna asubuhi mzuri na kuja na itakuja na furaha yake kwa hivyo walimulilia bwana naye bwana akafanya nini na bwana aliposikia maandiko yanasema bwana akawaponya na taabu zao zote unaona wezi kulilia bwana kama una taabu wakati unalilia bwana maana yako ni kusema una taabu na ningependa kusema kulia sio mbaya mwambie mwenzako kulia ni kawaida na ukiona ni kilia usishangae maana hiyo ndiyo hiyo ndiyo njia maana ujui kile napitia ujui kile kinanisukuma ujui kile nataka kupata nimepigana na kwa hivyo ukiona namlilia bwana ujue kwamba namlilia yule anayeweza mambo yote namlilia yule anaweza kuniponya magonjwa yangu yote na mulia yule atanitoa katika tabu na mashaka na ningependa kusema God hears and answers prayers. Na leo make up your mind to cry to God. Unajua hiyo kunyamaza ndiye meadibu wengi. Umenyamaza na unazama. Unanyamaza na unakwama katika traffic jam ya maisha. Unakwama unanyamaza, unasema wewe ni muungu na sana uwezi kulia. <laughs> Nataka kuangbia hapa kuna watu walilia na walipolilia bwana Mungu aliwasikia walipolilia bwana Mungu aliwakaribia walipomulilia bwana mambo yao ilibadilika na mimi naamini kabisa kama hakuna mtu atakusaidia kilio chako kwa Mungu kitakusaidia kwa hivyo maandiko yanasema wakamulilia bwana naye bwana akawasikia akawaponya na tabu zao zote mstari wa 19 nasema mateso ya wenye haki ni mengi sema mateso ya wenye haki ni mengi hata saa hizi una mengi 
Usisemu ni mwenye haki auna shida, auna matatizo, hiyo hiyo sio 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 kweli. Mateso ya mwenye haki ni mengi. Sema lakini. Sema tu lakini. Unajua hii ndiye inatengeneza tofauti kati ya wale wanazama na wale wanayana ngambo. Kati ya wale wanasema iwezekana na wale wanasema inawezekana. Wanajua ni wenye haki kuongeza na mambo wanapitia, matatizo, masaibu, lakini wanajua. Sema lakini. Bwana humponya nayo yote. Sema yote. Sema yote. Kwa hivyo yale mambo unapitia ndugu na dada, yote Mungu atakuponya. Yote Mungu atakuotoa. Yale magonjo utapona leo katika jina la Yaani kile kimekufinyilia I am believing God with you you are going to change in the name of Jesus. Ukisoma katika kitabu cha Nehemia mlango wa kwanza mstari wa kwanza mpaka ina nasemaje. Habari za Nehemia mwana wa Hakalia ikawa katika mwezi wa Kisieli mwaka wa ushirini, ushirini nilipokuwa huko Shushani ngomeni Anani mmoja wa ndugu zangu akanijia yeye na watu wengine waliotoka Juda nami nikabauliza habari za Wayahudi waliopona hao watu wa uamsho waliosalia habari za Jerusalemu wakaniambia watu wa uamsho waliosalia huko katika wilaya ile wamo katika hali dhiki nyingi Ehe. na mashutumu tena ukuta wa Jerusalemu umebomolewa na malango yake yameteketezwa kwa moto. Sasa hii ni habari likujia huyu mtu anaitwa Nehemiah. Juu kwa wale wale walikuwa wamebakia huko juda kama mabaki. Akataka kujua kabisa wale watu tuliwacha huko juda wale watu tuliweka Jerusalem wanaendeleaje. Huyu anani akamletea habari akamwambia mambo sio mazuri vile unafikiria. Pengine uliwacha mambo ni mazuri, pengine uliwacha ukuta zilikweko Pengine uliwacha ule mji wa Jerusalem unarembeka huko saba lakini hapa kuna shida. Maandike nasema Hanani akamwambia wale watu wako huko wako kwa mateso mengi. Wale watu wako huko wako kwa aibu. Na hakuna mwanamume na mwanamke kweli anapenda kazi ya Mungu, hawezi kuguzwa. Na kuambia kuna mwanamume na mwanamke anapenda kazi ya Mungu, anapenda kanisa la Bwana, anapenda watu wa Mungu, akisikia watu wanashutumiwa, akisikia watu wanateseka kwa sababu ya Mungu, lazima afanye jambo. Can we say amen? amen. Maandike nasema akaambiwa pia kuta za Jerusalem zimebomolewa. Wacha hiyo, ile mlango liwacha mzuri sana ya muji imeteketezwa. Na maandike nasema kivi hata niliposikia maneno hayo nikaketi Unawezaje kula na kunywa wakati unasikia habari mbaya Unawezaje kula na kunywa wakati unasikia kazi ya Mungu iendelee vizuri Huyu ni mwanamume aliyehusika Huyu ni mwanamume aliyejali juu ya mji wa Jerusalem na wale wanakaa Jerusalem alijali juu ya ukuta za Jerusalem alijali juu ya mlango wa Jerusalem Na ningependa kusikia kusema kivi Aliposikia habari mbaya juu ya mji wa Mungu, aliposikia habari mbaya juu ya ikalu imebomolewa, aliposikia juu ya habari mbaya ya wale wamebakia, wamebakia katika mashutumu tena wanaibu kubwa. Nemaya akakaa chini. Na ndio sababu katika maisha tunahitaji watu wanaroka kama ya Nemaya. Wewe unasikia kazi ya Mungu yende vizuri nasema na waendelee. Wewe unasikia ukuta za Jerusalem zimebomolewa unasema hiyo ni wanaendelea waendelee kujenga. Wapendwa sio Nehemiah. <coughs> Sema sio Nehemiah. Hiyo ndio roho tunahitaji kwa kazi ya Mungu. Hiyo ndio roho tunahitaji makanisani siku hizi special siku za mwisho. Sio wale watu wanaona kazi ya Mungu inaharibika na wana wanamea mababa. Sio wale watu wanaona kazi ya Mungu imeharibika wanasema mimi sio mhubiri. Hiyo sio kazi yangu. Tungependa kupata wanaume na wanawake wanaojali na kuhusika. Maandike nasema Nehemiah akakaa na hakukaa tu na maandike nasema he wept. Akaanza kulia, sema akaanza kulia. Na ningependa kusema mwenye yake akilia Mungu atasikia. Mwenye yake akilia mambo itafanyika. Na ningependa kusema wacha wengine wanyamaze, wewe mwenye haki usinyamaze. 
mwenye haki akinyamaza tunazama wenye haki wa kinyamaza hakuna ukuta tunajenga wenye haki wa kinyamaza giza itajaa duniani hivi kutaendelea kuwa na mashutumu kutaendelea kuwa na aibu kutaendelea kuwa na kuchoma mambo left and right wenye haki wakiinuka wamulilie bwana mambo itabadilika maandike nasema nehemaya akakaa chini and then the bible says he wept na kalia na kaomba na ningependa kusema hivi ukiangalia maisha ya Nehemiah kutoka wakati huo akabeba muziko wa Yerusalemu uwe muziko wake akahakikisha ukuta zitajengwa akahakikisha milango itarudishwa akahakikishwa wale wameshutumiwa na wameonekana disgrace we are going to bring joy back to them it was a night in the lives of Nehemiah but joy comes in the morning it doesn't matter how hard you have been hit my friend It doesn't matter how things have been rough and tough. Kitu gani umepoteza? Kitu gani kimechomwa? Milango yako imebomolewa? Mambo imezambaratika? Unwewe ni mtu wa aibu? Wewe ni jamii ya aibu? Mulilie Bwana mambo itabadilika. Na maandiko nasema kamuomba Mungu wa binguni. Sema kamuomba Mungu wa binguni. Na Mungu wa binguni anaweza mambo yote. Na Mungu wa binguni anaona mambo yote. Na Mungu wa mbinguni anaweza mambo yote. Na ningependa kusema dakika hii Mungu wa mbinguni anakutazama. Wakati huu Mungu wa mbinguni anakuona. Anajua kile kimebomoka, anajua kile kimepoteza, anajua kile kimechomeka, anajua aibu zako. Mulilie Bwana atasikia. Na maandiko nasema kutoka hapo Nehemiah akapata kibali mbele ya mfalme akapatiwa ruhusa ya kwenda Jerusalem kujenga ukuta na kurejesha mambo yote na kuhakikisha mandugu na badada wamerudi kwa furaha ya Bwana. Huyo ndiye aliyesema katika Nehemiah nane kumi the joy of the Lord is my strength. Uzuni inaweza kuendelea kwa usiku. Matatizo inaweza kuwekwa kwa usiku. Lakini furaha inakuja asubuhi. Na ndio sababu Nehemiah anasema furaha ya Bwana ni nguvu zetu. Na ndio sababu siku ya leo Mungu angependa upate furaha upate nguvu. Na hautapata nguvu ukiwa uko nje. Hautapata nguvu wakati umenyamaza. Hautapata nguvu wakati umekimia. Utapata nguvu wakati utapasa sauti utaita Bwana Yesu, utamuomba Mungu wa mbinguni na kile kimeharibika kitasaidika usiku wako utatokea na muangaza asubuhi. Yesa kaambiwa Lazaro ni mgonjwa. Na maandiko yanasema Yesa kakawia. Na baada ya Lazaro kufa na kuzikwa, Yesa akaanza safari ya kwenda kwa Martha na Maria. Na maandiko yanasema walipofika karibu na mji, Maria alikuwa amekaa mahali. Na maandiko yanasema akaambiwa mwalimu amekuja. Na maandiko yanasema walipokutana na Yesu jambo la kwanza ukisoma vizuri hiyo Johana moja Yesu alimpata Maria na omboleza Yesu alimpata Maria na Lia na Wayahudi wengine Kwa hivyo kulia sio mbaya kulia ni kawaida Bwana asifiwe sana Ukipata mtu analia hapa anasema nyamaza watu wa imani awali Nasiambia watu wa kanisa ya tuliangi na mwambie tunalia na tuna sababu ya kulia na tulili wewe tunalilia Mungu. Tunalia kwa sababu ya mambo unapitia, unalia kwa sababu ya ugonjwa, unalia kwa sababu ya uzuni, unalia kwa sababu mambo yaende vizuri. Kulia tunapatiwa ruhusa lakini tumulilie Bwana. Maana kilio kinaendelea usiku lakini furai na kuja asubuhi. Na ndio sasa nimekuja kukuambia pengine karibu ufika asubuhi yako. Karibu kabisa kuna pambazuka. Nasema kuna pambazuka. Sinungusema ina pambazuka. Jua linaenda kuchomoza. The night is going to be over in the name of Mary umelia vya kutosha. Yes amekuja jua la haki. Martha umelia vya kutosha. Jua la haki imetokea. Na maandike nasema walipokuwa nalia Maria na Wayahudi, Yes akamuuliza mumemweka wapi? Maana yake niambie Mahali mulizika maono yenu. Niambie mahali mulizika tumaini lenu. Niambie mahali pale mulishindwa. Na ningependa kusema kama maono yako imekufa na imezikwa, ndoto zako zile ulikuwa nafikiria statimia zimekufa zimezikwa, matarajio yako yamezikwa, Yesu amekuja itafufuliwa. Matarajio yako itafufuliwa. 
chochote kile kimezikwa Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Mmemweka wapi? Na ndio sama nyingine nasema kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali. Fanya mahitaji yako yajulikane kwa nani? Kwa Mungu. Muonyeshe mahali mumezika Lazaro. Elisha wakaenda kukata miti na watoto wa manabii. Na maandiko nasema kijana mmoja akasema hatuwezi kwenda peke yetu. Tunataka twende pamoja. Elisha wakaanza kwenda. Na maandiko nasema wakati walikuwa nakata miti, maana alikuwa anataka kupanua mipaka yao, wapanue boma zao, wapanue mali wamekaa makazi yao, maana walikuwa wanaonekana ni mali pana kwa padogo, wapanue. Na maandiko nasema shoka waliazima kwenda kukata nayo miti, ikaanguka ndani ya mto. Maandiko nasema kijana mmoja wa mnabii akaja akamwambia, "E Bwana, ile shoka ni la kuazima, imeanguka mtoni." And I want to say your life is going to change. And I want to say your direction is going to change. I want to say your family is going to change. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Your life will never be the same again. My friend, ni vizuri kumwambia Yesu masaibu yako. Ni vizuri kumwambia Yesu mahitaji yako. Maandike na sema huyu kijana kamwambia Elisha, hii shoka ilikuwa ya kuazima. Na Elisha kamuuliza, iliangukia wapi Kama vile Yesu aliuliza Martha na Mariamu, mume muzika wapi? Na wewe muonyeshe mali ulishindwa. Wewe muonyeshe mali uliangukia. Muonyeshe mali ulishindwa. Haleluya. Yesu akulaumu. Haleluya. Na Yesu akulize maswali. Maandike na sema walipomuonyesha Elisha mahali pale shoka lilianguka, alijukua kijiti. Alipochukua kijiti alitupa ndani na maandike nasema shoka kuja juu na akachukua shoka akabarudishia wana wa manabii na akabarudishia furaha yao may god restore your joy from today what you have lost may you recover oh. i say get excited my friend katika ibada si tunafurahi kuongeza kile unapoteza utarudishiba kuongeza na msipo mgumu morning is coming Jua linaenda kuchomboka tena ni jua la haki linabeba uponyaji kwa mababa God is about to surprise us God is about to surprise you If you say amen you are going to get it Lakini kama unaendelea kubambana usiku yako endelea Lakini nimekuambia kuna kucha Nasema kuna kucha Shoka wakarudishiwa furaha wakarudishiwa na mwisho wake wakakata miti wakaenda kujenga makao yao. God is a builder, is not a destroyer. Maandiko yanasema Acts chapter 20 verse 32 na wakabidhi kwa Mungu na kwa neno la neema yake lile linaweza kuwajenga baada ya kuwajenga linawapatia urithi katikati ya wale wametakaswa. Neno la Mungu litawapatia urithi. Neno la Mungu litakujengea nyumba. Neno la Mungu litakupatia shamba. Chochoto umekosa, neno la Mungu itakupatia. Faith is in the word of God. After you receive faith, you will perform. Mambo yale umepoteza will be back again. Yes akauliza mmemuzika wapi? Akamwambia sasa ameoza, unaulizwa mmezika wapi? Oh mambo iliharibika mwako uliopita. Hata tumesahau mmemuzika wapi? Na baadaye maandiko yanasema Yesu aliponyeshwa mali kaburi ya Lazaro liko jambo la kwanza Yesu alifanya hakuomba. The Bible says and Jesus wept. Yeza kafanya nini? Kulia sio mbaya. Hata saa hizi unaweza kuamua kulia. Kama una sababu zako Mungu atakusikia. Wacha wale wananyamaza na mambo imezikwa. Mimi naamini unaenda kutokea. Mimi naamini unaenda kubarikiwa. Mimi naamini unaenda kuongezewa miaka. Mimi naamini kile umepoteza utarudishiwa. Mimi naamini. I'm not a prophet of doom. I am a prophet of encouraging you. I am a man of God giving you hope. Na maandike nasema Yesu alipolia hakuachia kulia hapo. My friend alisema ondoa jiwe. Na wewe ondoa mashaka. Na wewe ondoa wasiwasi. Sema usisema iwezekani yote inawezekana kwa wale waaminio. Na waliposema ameoza Yesu alisema ondoa jiwe. Asubuhi imefika. Usiku inakwisha. Na Yesu akasema Lazaro tokea. Na akarudishia Martha na Maria furaha yao. And may God restore your joy back. Kile kimekufa kimezikwa kitokee. 
wale wana madeni yako wakurudishie wale wamkunyanganya shamba yako wakurudishie huu ni mwaka wa mabadiliko huu ni mwaka wa furaha joy comes in the morning who knows today is your morning hautamboleza tena hautalia tena hautangaika tena hautakuwa mgonjwa tena hautakaa kwa shimo la waribivu tena joy is coming in the morning Hallelujah. That's the kind of a master I serve. That's the kind of a savior I serve. That's the kind of a God I serve. Hakuwachi mali amekupata. Hakuwachi mali umeoza. Hakuwachi mali umezoroteka. Hakuwachi mali umeoneba. Hakuwachi mali amekushutumu atakutoa. Atakubariki. Atakuponya. Atakutengenezea njia mali hakuna njio. Matatizo ni ya muda. Nasema matatizo ni ya muda. Furaha inakuja asubuhi. And where the word of God is there is power. And where Jesus is there is the presence of God. Your life will never be the same again. My friend, Jesus is here. Tunazumuza matatizo yako, shida zako, kilio chako kinaendelea kwa muda lakini afura afura asubuhi yako inakuja maandiko yanasema Ibrania 5:7 inasema Yesu katika siku zake za mwili jambo la kwanza akatoa maombi Yesu akatoa maombi he offered prayers the bible says he offered up prayers and i'm asking you in the name of Jesus offer up prayers kama uko chini offer up prayers kamwe ni mgonjwa offer up prayers mungu yuko chini yuko juu offer your prayers up toa sala zako ziende juu toa maungu yako yaende juu sifa zako ziende juu maandiko yanasema yesu akatoa sala zake na shukurani kwenda juu na maandiko yanasema akalia kwa nguvu with a strong crying na maandiko yanasema sio kulia tu na machozi. Kama mwana wa Mungu alikuwa analia na machozi, kwa yule angeweza kumuokoa to kwa kaburi, kwa yule angemtoa kuzimuni, kwa yule angempa jina likujua majina yote. Wewe ni nani ndugu na dada? Usitoe maombi yako, sala zako, dua zako kwende kwa Mungu na machozi na kulia. Jesus cried with a strong cries with the tears. To him who was able to save him from death. Don't be a joker in life. Wanajua we ni mugonjwa na utaki kuomba. Wanajua muna shida kwenu, lakini kuova prayers utaki, unataka kufanyua maombi. It is you to do it personally. Wanajua kabisa, your life is not straight. You know very well kabisa, very soon you might go under. Na unaambiwa tu offer half prayers unasema siwezi. Unaambiwa mlilia Bwana mimi ni mwanamume wanaume watoi machozi. Yesu alikuwa ni mwanamume wa wanaume. Alilia he wept. Kama kuna mwanamume na heshima ni Yesu. Huyu mwanamume alilia machozi akalia kabisa kwa yule anaweza kumuokoa. Na ningependa kusema maandiko yanasema akasikizwa kwa sababu aliogopa. Swali ni hii Baba alimfufua? Yes. Swali ni hii alitoa roho yake kuzimuni? Yes. Swali ni hii alipotoka alitoka alitoka vifungo vya kuzimu, akatoka na vifungo vya mauti na leo ni bwana wa mabwana na yule alikuwa analilia akamuinua juu, akampa jina liko juu ya majina yote, akamuinua juu ya mamlaka yote enzi zote. My friend until you humble yourself and offer up prayers with strong crying and tears nothing will happen kwenu nothing usijidanganye sio kiingereza yako sio kiswahili chako sio watu wa kwenu it's all about you it's all about me you cannot change your life if you don't learn to offer our prayers bwana yesu asifiwe patie yesu makofi mazuri tunazumuza kwamba tabu za wenye haki nyingi lakini Mungu wakimulilia na watoa kwa hizo zote ukisoma juu ya Petro Yesu akamwambia Petro 
kabla jogoo haijawika utanikana mara tatu na petro akamwashua yesu sio mimi sio mimi mimi nitakupigania mpaka mwisho hata njora ninayo alikuwa hata Yesu akiomba yeye ana njora yake hapa just in case prayer doesn't work njora it will work paka Yesu akamwambia hiyo tabia wacha rudisha upanga mahali pake maana ukitumia upanga hiyo ndio kazi utatumiwa pia my friend na akamwambia Yesu hata wakuache wote mimi mimi Simon Peter yule ulitoka kwa kuvua samaki yule yule mtu ulibariki siwezi tena nina ufunuo wewe ni nani wewe ni Yesu mwana wa Mungu aliye hai si ulitangaza juzi juu ya mwamba hii nitajenga kanisa langu na milango ya kuzimu haitaweza kuishinda Simon akamhakikishia Yesu akamwambia I will not betray you I want you to listen very careful and look at me I tell you something which will save your health will save your family will change save your business you will change even your lifestyle nothing can change you hata upeleko kwa central bank ukae ndani it can change you hata ufanywe ambaza na wa europe utasumbua wazungu haya yesu amemwambia utanikana kabla jogoe jawika utanikana mara tatu wacha safari ya goligoda ianze wacha safari ya mateso ya yesu ianze Wacha Yesu apelekwe msalabani sasa. Amewekwa mbele ya Pilato. Simon Peter kutoka mbali. Anaona vile Yesu anaruliwa nguo. Anaona vile Warumi wanampiga mijeledi, wanangoa hata hata ngozi yake. Akaona vile Yesu anabalishwa taji ya miba damu inajauswa hata uwezi kuona uso wake. Simon kuona hivi akasema, "He, I thought it was easy, my friend. Wacha ni step back." Si uliambiwa? Mshana moja mtoka kaja akamwambia si wewe naona ndio ulikuwa na yule mtu akamwambia wewe msichana sikiliza enda fundishwa na wazazi wako adabu baadaye kwenda kidoka akapata mwingine akamwambia wewe wewe ni unafanana kama yeye akamwambia shut up hata simujui hata sijawahi kumuona na Yesu tu amesimama mbele ya Pilato anangoja jogoi wike na nakuomba ya jogo isiwike. Na kuombea jogo yako isiwike. <laughs> Maana inaweza kuwika usiku wa manane my friend. Utaenda wapi? Jogo inaweza kuwika my friend. You thought you had faith, you will discover you have no faith until God gives it to you. Baadaye tena Simon akaenda kajificha ndani ya watu. Sasa wakamwambia wewe ni mgalilaya kabisa hata vile unaongea ni kama yeye hata vile unavaa ni kama yeye akawaambia tafadhali msinisumbue mimi ni kama nyinyi na maandike nasema jogo ikawika sema jogo ikawika sema jogo ikawika jogo ilipawika sikiliza yesu akageuza macho hivi akiwa mbele ya pilato akageuza macho macho ya simon ikakutana na yesu na maandiki nasema Matthew 26 verse 75 and Peter remembered the words of Jesus which he said unto him before the cock crows thou shalt deny me three eyes not for three eyes Maandiki nasema Simon sasa amegundua isa failure amegundua mesaliti mwalimu Amegundua ile maneno alitoa kwamba atampigania paka mwisho amekula maneno yake. Maandike nasema macho ya Yesu na ya Simon ilipokutana hivi alikumbuka maandike nasema he went out and wept bitterly. Hiyo ndiye iliyokoa Simon. Sema hiyo ndiye iliyokoa Simon. Ile kuweep bitterly he was so remorseful. Hata Yesu aliona mjamaa amejuta hata Yesu aliona kutoka ndani Simon as wept bitterly amejuta amejuta analia mwanamume mzima anatoka nje ana weep si analia tu ngenge analia uwi analia kabisa anasema nimeharibika nimeharibu nimeharibu sasa wacha nurudi kwa biashara yangu ya zamani he wept bitterly to show you that Jesus forgave him because he wept bitterly When Jesus rose from the dead, aliambia wanafunzi wake, enda muambie wanafunzi wangu 
pamoja na Petro, he singled out Peter. Because of this day, he wept bitterly. Hakuwa na machozi ya crocodile. Ile kuonyesha watu atumetubu lakini kilindini you are not repentant. Your heart is a hard as a stone. That man roho yake ilipasuka pa na akasema aibu kando maunabii umetokea na umetimia na akalia kalia kabisa tena kwa saudi loud and clear and Jesus heard that weeping. Ndio sababu Yesu alipofufuka Alienda mahali pale Simon na wanafunzi wake walikuwa wanavua samaki katika mto Tiberia maandike nasema akasimama hapo na akauliza watoto mna kitoweo wakasema hatuna Yesu akasema leta cha, eh, cha, samaki akatengeneza makaa akatengenezea samaki na baadaye Yohana akasema ni mwalimu Simon alikuwa uchi <laughs> unaona mjamaa kaingia ndani ya maji mbulu Yesu akamwambia vaa nguo kuja hapa. Nikurudishe kwa laini. Bwana asifiwe sana. Vilo linikana mara tatu. Nikiri mara tatu. Je, Simon mwana wa Bajona unanipenda? Akamwambia mara tatu, lisha kondoo zangu, lisha kondoo zangu, lisha my lamb. And then he brought him back. Na Yesu akamwangalia. Akamwambia siku ile you wept bitterly. I saw your repentant heart na akamrudisha na akamwambia nao endelea mbele pata watu wengine moyo ni mgumu kabisa hata akikosa kulia hawezi hata anatoroka nyumbani ana anatoroka chaji mwisho wake Mungu anasema i don't go that way i go the way of repentance i go to the way of broken hearts Maandiko yanasema mwanzo 27:38 mpaka 39. Wakati Yakobo aliba baraka za Esau. Na baadaye baba na mama wakamsindikisha akamwambia sasa enda kwa Laban. Maandiko yanasema Esau aliporudi kutoka mawindoni akamwambia baba nimeleta kondoo ile mnyama nimechinja sasa na mule, na kuletea kitoweo. Sasa nibariki. Na baba akamuuliza ni nani huyu alikuwa kwa hapa? Ni nani huyu nilibariki? Maandike nasema mzee akatetemeka. Akate, maandike nasema and the man shook, the father shook. Jacob alitetemeka. Akamuliza whom have I blessed? Baada ya kugundua ni yule wa pili anaitwa Jacob, amedanganywa, amemwekelea mkono, ametangaza baraka na akamwambia sasa enda. Sasa Esau anakuja yule mzaliwa wa kwanza kadiri ya sheria za Kiyahudi anakundua Yakobo amechukua baraka ameambia miguu ni ponye tena ameambiwa ende mahali pala atajificha Maandike nasema hivi Esau akamuuliza baba Hauna hata baraka moja Hauna hata ile baraka umeniachia Na maandike nasema je akasema nibariki nibariki baba yangu it was too late and of course we know kisoma chini aliambiwa vile atabarikiwa baraka zile ndogo ndogo na kubwa kubwa kidogo na baadaye akaambiwa vile atakuwa na tabia ingine ya ajabu ajabu maandike nasemaje Esau lifted up his voice and did what? He wept. Sema kainua sauti yake. Na akafanya nini? Na akafanya nini? Sema na akalia. Sema na sauti. Sema na sauti. Maandike na sema hivi. Unibariki mimi nami pia. E baba yangu. Esau akapaza sauti yake na akalia. Hii ndio tunataka kujifunza. Lift up your voice and call upon the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and cry. Lift up your voice and weep. Otherwise nothing will happen. Na baba alipoona Esau ameinua sauti yake na amelia kabisa, sikiliza vile alitangaza. 
Isa, Isa kababa yaka akajiba akamwambia angalia penye manono ya nchi patakuwa makao yako. Ni kwa sababu aliinua sauti yake na akalia. Akasema haya kuna mahali fulani kuna manono yako ya nchi. Na penye umande wa bingu unatoka juu. Baadaye akamwambia upanga wako we utaishi na wewe utamtumikia mdogo huyo na itakuwa utakapoponyoka utavunja kongwe lake katika shingo lake maana yake hiyo sasa ni warabu na wayahudi mpaka saizi wanapigana mpaka saizi hii iko mpaka leo na ndio sawa unaona hata warabu wamepatiwa mahali kuna mafuta lakini the wayahudi wako juu zaidi hawa ndio israeli can we say amen patie bwana makofi mazuri Naona Isaka amewaachia baraka watoto wake. Lakini ya Ibra ya, ya Yakobo ilikuwa ni kitoe amempa, amemulisha. Lakini ya Esau alipasa sauti na akalia. Na ndio sababu inapofika in life usinyamaze. Ikifika in life kama Daudi kutoka kwa shimo la waribifu na matope ya utelezi, mulilie Bwana atakutoa. Nasema mulilie Bwana atakutoa. Mali watu atakutoa Mungu atakutoa. Mali wengine hawatakutoa Mungu atafanya nini? Atakutoa. Hii ni mifano na kupatiwa pato kujua. Hakuna mtu aliye raise voice yake kwenda kwa Mungu kabisa genuinely Mungu akamwacha chini. Hakuna. Ukisoma juu ya Ajiri na Ishmael. Yule mjakazi wa Sara. Yule baadaye walizaa na Ibrahimu wakazaa mtoto anaitwa Ismaili na baadaye mama Sara kazaa Isaka mama Sara kafika mahali anaona vile Isaka wanacheza na Ismaili akaingiwa na wivu akasema hapana kale katota kawezi kuridhi na mtoto wangu hakuna kitu kama hiyo akaja akaambia mzee huyo msichana na mtoto wake tupa nje waende kabisa waende wapi mama hiyo sio shida yangu mama kajam sema fukuza ye. Yaani muzaka ajaribu kutetea akasema huyu ni my son. Kongeza na shida zote. Mpaka Mungu akamjia Ibrahimu akamwambia, "Sikiliza mke wako. Sikiliza mke wako. Do what she tells you." Maana huyu awezi kuridhi na huyu mzao wako. Ngao wote ni watoto wako, lakini mzao wa Hadi ni Isaka. They cannot be together. Maandike nasema mzee Abraham akatengeneza mkate akatengeneza ugali akatengeneza chapati akatengeneza kitu kizito na baadaye akachukua maji na chupa kajaza akamwambia aji aji ajiri chukua hii na hii mafuta muende sasa mahali taishia i am not there maji mtoto akunywe chakula mkule na Mungu akusaidie na maandiki nasema hivi Huyu mama na mtoto wake Ismaeli wakafika mahali wakaanza safari ya kwenda kwa jangwa ya Beersheba. Sio kwenda kwa ushindi, sio kwenda kwa baraka. Maandike nasema huyu mama amebeba katoto Ismaeli kanalia, mama analia na hawaendi mahali pazuri, hawaendi mahali pameinuka, hawaendi mahali kuna maji, hawaendi mahali kuna mashamba mazuri, anaenda katika jangwa la Beersheba. And I want to say that in matter the will and as you are in, God will visit you there. When you learn to vocalize your faith, when you learn to raise up your faith to God and your cry, my friend God will answer you. Maandike nasema hivi na usikilize, maji kafika mali ikaisha. Maji kaisha. Na maji kisha ni kifo inaingia. Chakula ikaisha na chakula ikisha ni kifo kimeingia tena wako jangwani. Kama ni wewe ungefanya nini? As much as you love your children, as much as you love your family, when famine has come and you are in the wilderness, what will you do? Some people quit and give up so easily. My friend, a genuine believer doesn't. Can we say amen? Maandike nasema huyo mama kafika mahali kwa umbali wa kutupa mishale, akaweka mtoto chui chini ya miti na yeye akasonga nyuma. Asione mtoto wake akifa. Na maandiki nasemaje she sat her son down and then the bible says she lifted up her voice and wept Unaona jibu iko kwa kuinua sauti na 
kulia sio kupiga kifua sio kusema i don't care you should care my friend god cared he sent his son jesus christ can we say amen maandike nasema she lifted up her voice and wept na ukisoma inasema na Mungu akasikia kilio cha mtoto sema na Mungu akasikia kilio cha mtoto hiyo ni Genesis 21 Mungu akasikia nini Mungu akasikia nini Mungu akasikia nini kilio cha mtoto Mungu asikii kilio akichaliwa wewe umenyamaza kabisa na mnazama wewe umenyamaza kabisa na mapepe na wavamia wewe unamenyamaza kabisa na malana ndio hizo vocalize your faith cry out i say shout I say lift up your voice and weep. Hakuna inafika mahali hakuna aibu chakula hakuna hata ukiwa muungwana si utakufa. Huko jangwani hata ujifanye muungwana unaweka mikono mifuko mbili yote. You can't be helped that way my friend. You have to come to a place you lift up your voice. Let your wife here, let your children here, let everybody around you here. Kwamba unatafuta msaada kutoka, you lift up your voice. Not down, lift his up. Maana ninasema mtoto pia analia huko na mama naye anasema nitapasa sauti nasikia mtoto analia na jua analia 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 anataka maji sina maji anataka maziwa sina maziwa anataka mkate sita mkate na yeye akasana na mimi nitalia. Watu wawili wakilia wakikubalia na bingu itaitika. Sema amina. Maandiko yanasema hivi and God heard the voice of the Lord and an angel call Aga from heaven. I say heaven is watching. I say heaven is hearing. Kama wengine wasikii Mungu anasikia. Kama wengine waoni Mungu anaona. I say heaven is watching and very soon heaven is going to respond. I say heaven is going to respond. Hiyo jangwa mtatoka. Hiyo maji mtapata. Hiyo chakula itakuja. God is going to bring you out and bring you to a wealthy place. God is going to bring you out of the wilderness and bring you to a place of abundance. Can you say amen? Mtavaa vizuri, mtakula vizuri, mtajenga nyumba nzuri, mtaenda juu tena juu sana na useme amen. What man cannot do, God can do it for you. My friend, I'm excited. When I preach like this, shida zangu zinaisha hapa. Maitaji yale naona mengi na shindo what to do na wacha kuongea na sema I will vocalize my faith, I will lift up my voice and weep to God ni mulilie Jehovah. Na maandike na sema bingwi kiongea haiongei malaana bingwi kiongea haiongei majanga maandike na sema Mungu akafungua macho ya mama ajiri sema Mungu akafungua macho Mungu akofungue macho pia Mungu akufungue macho mama Mungu akufungue macho mzee Your family should be blessed from today Kila ujaona upate kuona Nasema kila mjaona mpate kuona Nasema kila ujaona upate kuona May God open your eyes I say nobody can open your eyes my friend Chakula iwezi pesa ziwetu watu wakwenda wawezi but the heaven can open your eyes maandike nasema and god opened her eyes and she saw hakuona majanga hakuona matatizo maandike nasema akaona kisima sema akasema sema akaona kisima Sema kaona kisima. Sema kaona kisima. Na baba utaona kisima. Na sema utaona kisima. Hautaona malana tena. Hautaona matatizo tena. Hautaona malana tena. Na sema kaona kisima. Na baba uone kisima. Can we say amen? Mungu amekuchimbia kisima. Kisima cha baraka umechimbiwa. Kisima cha kisima cha kustawi umechimbiwa. And the God of heaven opened the eyes of Aga. Her eyes were open and she saw a well. Akaona kisima, maji fresh. Akaona kisima, maji safi. Na ningependa kusema leo, maisha yako haitachafuka tena. Maisha yako haitakuwa na tabu tena. Maisha yako haitazama tena. Mungu atakutengenezea kisima. Na maandike nasema 
kwamba Yesu akasema wale waniaminio kutoka ndani ya mioyo yao kutafurika maji ya mito ya uzima kisima cha Roho Mtakatifu kutoka leo kitafurika kitafurika na baraka kitafurika na ushinde kitafurika na ndimi na unabii na baraka zitafurika haleluya and she saw a well may you see the well may you see the well nasema ona kisima na Yesu ni kisima chetu nasema Yesu ni kisima chetu nasema Yesu ni kisima changu nitaona kisima mwaka huu sema simama kama umekaa sema utaona kisima mwaka huu sio nataka kuona nini Sijua nataka kuona mimi nataka kuona kisima. Nimechoka kuona watu. Nimechoka kusikia watu. I want to see my well. I want to drink from my well. I want to refresh from my well. And Jesus is the well giver. Akafunguliwa macho, akaona kisima. Na wewe kwenu muone kisima. Mwanze kuchota. Sema anza kuchota. Sema tuanze kuchota. Sema nianze kuchota. Sema nianze kuchota. Agiri akachukua chupa sema akachukua chupa na wewe chukua chupa na wewe chukua chupa sio uchukue chupa yako wengine hamuna chupa mimi nina chupa yangu wengine hamjua hamuna chupa chupa yako ni imani yako haleluya chukua chupa imani yako chukua njia na bahanda maandiko nasema wa faith is our victory chukua chupa kunywa kunywa baraka wacha kunywa malana wacha kunywa magonjwa wacha kunywa matope kunywa raha kunywa baraka kunywa ushinde kunywa uponyaje kunywa gari mzuri kunywa shamba mzuri nasema kunywa mwambie mwenzako kunywa mwambie mwenzako kunywa kunywa baraka za bwana kunywa ushindi wa bwana kunywa afya ya bwana nasema kunywa mwenzangu kunywa wacha kusimama kithio watu wanaokunywa wanakunywa wakifurahi utarudishiwa furaha utarudishiwa afya utarudishiwa shamba utachurudiwa baraka maandiko nasema ajiri akajacha chupa akapelekea mtoto mtoto akanywa na akakua mtoto akanywa na akasitawi na wewe mnaenda kustawi na nyinyi mnaenda kunywa mtatoka jangwa katika jina la Yesu natangaza no more wilderness i say no more wilderness i say no more crying i say no more weeping i say again no more weeping My friend I'm on fire for Jesus. The truth you know is the truth which will set you free. Not the truth you don't know. Si unataka ubiliwe vipi? Sikiliza mejaa samaji ya chupa akampelekea boy. Hallelujah. Akamwambia boy wacha kulia. Akamwambia kijana from today no more cry. Anamwambia hata wewe utakuwa mtu. Hata wewe utakuwa jamii. Hata wewe utabarikiwa. Wewe pia ni mtu wa Ibrahimu. Na ningependa kusema tumebarikiwa na muaminifu Ibrahimu kwa sababu ya Yesu Kristo. Yesu amekuwa kisima chetu. Yesu ametuletea maji kama mwanamke Musamaria. Tuna maji, tutakunywa, tutasitawi, tutanawiri. Chukua chupa. Imani yako ndio chupa yako. Eh. Oh bishop niombe tuna kisima. Tuende kichakani tuombe na tukufe. Yesu akuja tukufe, Yesu alikuja tupata uzima, tena uzima tele. Tumeona kisima, weka maji, kunywa, burudika, furai mpaka uzima wa milele. Patia Yesu makofi mazuri. Haleluya. Use shangae kwa shida zako. Chini ya mabawa yake utaka. Watu wakisima wanaimba na furaha. Use shangae kwa shida zako. Chini ya mabawa yake utaka Unasema Mungu atanilinda 
se kozo tem nje ayo tem atam nilinda mungu ata kutoka leo mungu atakulinda kutoka leo mungu atakupigania na wewe sema amina mtakatifu Bishop Waka sichoke bure na asione matunda. Can we say amen? Can we say amen? Hauta choka tena. Hauta kaa chini ya malana tena. Hizo kisima kiko hapa. Kunyo na mutoke kwa malana. Kunyo mutoke kwa aibu. To kunyo mpaka mutoke kwa upungufu. Nobody can help you except you have faith. Tukai zote. Tunazumuza juu ya mwenye haki akilia. Mambo inabadilika. Mwenye haki ya raise up the voice, things must change. Na kwenu itabadilika. I know how to do it. The best. Lift up your voice and weep. Cry to God. Mwanzo 45 inasema hivi mstari wa kwanza mpaka tano. Hapo Yusufu akweza kujizuia mbele ya wote waliosimama karibu naye akapiga kelele na kusema muondokeni kila mtu mbele yangu wala hukusimama mtu pamoja naye Yusufu alipochitambulisha kwa ndugu zake akapaza sauti yake akalia na wa Misri wakasikia watu wa nyumba ya farao nao wakasikia Utaki watu wakisikia ukilia watu watu watasemaje kati mzee mzima analia huyu alikuwa ni ofisa mkubwa Siku hizi ni kama prime minister. Wanaweza asifiwe from a slave to a big man who can do that only God. Mungu alimpatia Joseph ndoto kwamba siku moja jua na mwezi na nyota zitamuinamia. Maana yake ni baba na mama na ndugu zake watamuinamia mpaka wakamuonea wivu. Na ningependa kusema wakuonea wivu asikuonea wivu maono ya Mungu yatatimia ile ndoto Mungu alikupa hatopelekwe mahali pagumu is going to surface and maybe this is your morning for it to surface msiogope watu siogope hali hata wale wamekusema wameku count of god counted you in long ago in christ you are in <laughs> wanafikiria usipokuwa na wao you are out you don't have to be with them you be in christ let the word of god dwell in your heart richly you are going to change for the best You don't have to be them. Be yourself in Christ. Wakauza Josephu, wakamtupa ndani ya pango, mara wakamtoa, wakamuuza kwa waheshimailia. Eh? Wakapelekwa mpaka Misri. Na maandiko yanasemaje? Wakaenda wakachinja kondoo, wakachukua ngoo ya Joseph, wakaiweka ndani ya damu, wakampelekea baba. Akamwambia baba, unajua ngoo ya huyu? Anasema ni ya Josephu. Wanyama wamekula yeye wakusingizie wasikusingizie hakuna mnyama atakula wewe umeenda mahali pale kusudi ya Mungu itatimika nasema umeenda mahali pale kusudi ya Mungu itatimika baba lilia akaweka magunia akalia maana alikuwa anapenda Josephu sana he really cried he wept ukisoma hiyo maandiko alilia kweli sasa imefika miaka kuja miaka kwenda na ujue hii Mungu alimwambia Ibrahimu Alimwambia Ibrahimu akiwa hai akampatia Jonesi na baadaye akamwambia uzao wako utakuwa katika nchi ya kigeni miaka nne na hiyo nchi nitaitesa nitaiadhibu na baadaye nitabatoa na mkono wangu kumbe Josephu ndiye alitumwa na wewe Mungu anakusudi na wewe nasema Mungu anakusudi na wewe nasema tena God has a purpose with our lives so don't allow anybody to play with that purpose hata we nani akuli kwako uvae nguo zake It has to come to a time you become stubborn in the will of God Jesus was stubborn when he came to the will of the Father he was very stubborn when he knew the will of the Father ungembadilisha Any man and a woman who knows the will of God and the purpose where they were called will never compromise will never bow to situations and circumstances will never Joseph alipitia yote na mwisho wake Mungu akamtoa gerezani akafanyika mtawala Misri sasa ile maandiko ile maono ya Ibrahimu ikatimia sasa baba na mama wakatuma waka ndugu zake Josefu kwenda Misri mahali kuna chakula 
bila kujua ndugu yao ndio mkubwa huko minister mkubwa analinda gala zote za Misri yeye ndiye ana clear sign ajue ni magunia gani metoka na ni ngapi imeingia Yesu wetu ametutangulia he will clear you he will give you the best can we say amen, amen. even when things are rough and tough una yule amekutangulia anaitwa nani sema anaitwa Yesu sasa wamekuja na Joseph akajua hawa ndio walio ndugu zangu na maanike nasema aliposimama karibu na wao akasikia kulia machozi akawaambia kwanza mtoke nje nyote akaenda kisiri and the bible says and joseph lifted up his voice and wept hakujua itatokea hivyo na wewe ujui vile mambo itatokea siku moja uta, utalia kilio cha furaha nasema siku moja utaamini kwamba hata unaendesha gari hautaamini kwamba siku moja umepelekwa mahali hungeota ungepita god is going to bring you to your surface na muamini anasema amina Joseph never thought this one will turn out to be for his own good. Vile maandiko yanasema Romans 8:28, mambo yote ufanya kazi kwa wema. Joseph akajua sasa Mungu ndiye alinileta mbele. Sio ndugu zangu, sio wale wananitesa, sio wale walinidharau, sio wale waliniuza, sio wale walinisaliti. Hapana. Sio wale alisema uongo juu yangu. No, it was God at work. Mungu anafanya kazi kwa kadiri ya mapenzi yake but to will and to do his good on good pleasure maandike na semaje then joseph could not refrain himself from all of them that stood by him and he cried and he wept aloud paka wa misri waliokuwa karibu wakasikia paka nyumba ya farao wakashangaa mkubwa analilia nini amepaza sauti nani amemchokoza na baadaye maandike na sema akajifunua kwa ndugu zake akawaambia mta joseph you sold wakastuka akamwambia msituke ni mapenzi ya Mungu ilifanyika muniuze hapa ili hii mwaka na hali hii ni waokoe na akauliza je is my father alive usisahau baba yako wakiasili na wakiroho eh hapana sahau yeye hapana e, kula peke yako <laughs> nasema hapana kula peke yako eh jifunze kuwa mkarimu kwa baba yako Baba yako wa kiasili na wa kiroho. Eh, na Mungu atakubariki. Baba yangu yuko hai, ukasema ndio. Na of course na Benjamin, the last born. Mwisho. Waliletwa wote, sema wote waliletwa. Wakapatiwa inchi mzuri sana Misri, province inaitwa Goshen. Mali nyasi ni mzuri, maji ni mazuri, wakakula, wakakunywa. My friend is because Joseph wept before God. Na Mungu akasema nimewasamee na mapenzi yangu yametimika. So learn with the scriptures. Hapana fuata watu blindly. Hapana sema amina kwa kila kitu. Ingine nyamaza. Lakini kifika kwa Mungu, vocalize your faith. Samuel wa kwanza chapter 30 Samuel wa kwanza chapter 30 Mstari wa kwanza mpaka 4 Ikawa Daudi na watu wake walipokuwa wamefika Siklag siku ya tatu hao wa maleki walikuwa wameshambulia Negebu na Siglag nao wameupiga Siglag na kuuchoma moto nao wamechukua wame, mateka wanawake waliokuwa wakubwa kwa wadogo hawakuwa hawakuwaua wowote ila wakawachukua wakaenda zao basi Daudi na watu wake walipofikilia mji tazama ulikuwa unachomwa moto na wake zao na watoto wao na waume kwa wake wamechukuliwa mateka na ndio sababu unashangaa unajua una shida unajua unahitaji na tunataka kufa kiume <laughs> sijawahi kuona mauti ya kiume na sijawahi kuona mauti ya kike hii misemo tumeunda hapa na unajua una shida unajua una ugonjwa itakuwa unajua kuna hali imesindikana come out like a man voice up your concern 
I say shout with all your heart. Kuna mambo mengine Mungu atakupatia mpaka upaze sauti. Jeri kaingi anguka mpaka wapase sauti. Lazara angefufuka mpaka Yesu apase sauti. Mbona unanyamaza? Hao wamerudi kutoka vitani, wameona ushindi wa ajabu, wanarudi wanafurahi, kumba adui aliwazunguka, amechoma mji wao wa Siglag, wakezana na watoto wamechukuliwa mateka, hakuna hata mmoja aliwaba. Sikiliza reaction yao. We are talking about your reaction my friend when you are in a dilemma when you are in confusion when you don't know what to do you don't have to quit and give up when things have become red and hot skiliza hapa maandike nasemaje ndipo daudi sema ndipo daudi na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye wakainua sauti zao they lifted up their voices Narusha mikono. Dish of sijui nifanyeje. Mzee sielewe siku hizi. Watoto wamekuwa muzigo. Mambo yamekuwa magumu. Hiyo mkono waja. Pasa sauti. Pasa sauti. Maandike nasema Daudi na wanajeshi wote wakapasa sauti zao. Maandike nasema they lifted up their voices and wept. Walililia mji wa Ziglag. Walililia wake zao. Walililia watoto wao. Na mwisho askari wakasema wewe ndio ulikuwa kiongozi wetu, hii mamba ingefanyika, watoto wetu wangeenda, mji ingechomeka kama tungekufuata wewe Daudi, mambo yameharibika twakupiga mawe. Lakini maandiki nasema baada ya wao kulia, Daudi akarudi kwa Mungu akamuuliza, nifuatilie na nitarudisha. Na ningependa kusema when you are in a problem, when you are in a need, after you have voiced up your cry and your weeping, ask God, what is next? Ni kweli nyumba nyo, mambe mearibika, ni kweli zigi la gimechomwa, ni kweli wakeo na watoto wamechukuliba, ni kweli kabisa, it's a fact. Ni kweli kabisa mambe mekua magumu. Lakini manike nasema, Daudi akaenda kwa mungu wakamuulisa, David inquired before the Lord. That's what I call prayer and supplications. After you have wept, after you have cried, then ask God, what must I do now? Mungu alimuambia namna gani? Maandike nasema, Daudi akajitia moyo katika buwana mungu, wake. Na bebe wakati wa shida jitia ngufu. Mama jitia ngufu. Ukianza ukilia ni lia lia tu ukishamaliza jitie nguvu. Mambo ni magumu oh, oh bishop oh, oh lia paka machozi ishe lakini mwisho jitie nguvu. Kisha Daudi akamwambia Biatha kuani mwana wa Elimeki tafadhali niletee hapo yeye na Ivera. Na yeye Biatha kamletea Daudi na Ivera huko. Daudi akauliza bwana akesema je nikiwafuatilia jeshi hili nitawapata na ya kamujibu fuata kwa kiko utawapata na awe ukosi utawakupokonya wote walimaliza katika ile note tunasema a positive note haijalishi how negative you have started haijalishi vile mambe mearibika ukienda kwa mungu kwa maombi na kwa kusali mungu atakuambia inuka fuatilia utarudisha yote daudi alirudisha ama kurudisha Alirudisha wandugu na badada and I want to encourage you kwa kila jambo kuomba na kusali utarudisha yote Utarudisha tu ile kazi utarudishiwa Chochote kile umepoteza wewe consult God God will give you the ability and the wisdom and the capability to be able to discover all Sema ukarudisha yote Sema tena Kwa hivyo kulie naweza kuendelea usiku. Lakini sema lakini. Furai na kuja nini? Usimame zote. We are going to voice our voices to God. Mimi nina mdomo sio ya kula tu, pia ni ya kupaza sauti. Kati mambo yamekuwa ngumu na voice up my concern. Mdomo ndiye inaamua mahali utakuwa kesho. Midomo ya hawa Ndiye liwatoa kwa majanga wangenyamaza wangezama
Kizia Niliomba Hallelujah Makofi na shangwe na vigele gele Hallelujah Kuna mahali ukienda utapata watu wa nyamazi. Ni mahali pale kuna shida na tabu. <laughs> Wanaongea saa zote. Maana wanataka watoke kwa yote. Wakitoka kila mtu ananyamaza na fanya mambo yake. Na naamini from now onwards you will be able to apply the word of God. Pana nyamaza mpaka mnazama. Simon alipoanza kuzama aliita Yesu. Maana anasema I cried out. Sema I cried out. You better cry out my friend hiyo ugonjwa itaondoka hiyo masaibu itaondoka can we say amen tunio mikono mbele za bwana tafakari baadaye we are going to call upon the name of the lord Can you voice up your song? Can you just sing and worship him? Is this no time to keep quiet? Is this no time to angalia kushoto, to angalia kulia? Ni webe mwenyeba utamua kabisa. To voice up your concern, to voice up your prayers, to voice up your faith, to voice up your spirit in the name of Jesus. Royo yote zembe na ifunga, royo yote ya kunyamansa, shua mapenzi ya mungu. Beka pasha kanda la bakota. Wewe unajua masaibu yako, wewe unajua kilo unapitia, wewe unajua shida zako, unajua kilo unapitia. Anza kuita Bwana. Maandiki nasema ni iteni nami nitakuitikia. Nitakuonyesha mama kubwa tena magumu. It is now time to cry. It is time to cry to the Lord. It is now to time to call upon the name of the Lord. Yesu tusaidie. Yesu tuokoe. Yesu ponya watu wako. Yesu inua watu wako. Katika jina la Yesu Baba. Fungua watu wako macho. Wafungue watu macho Bwana. Wana baelewi maisha ni nini wafungue macho. Kila mmoja wetu ana nafasi ya kuita Bwana. Usichoke ndugu na dada. Usichoke kuita. Usichoke kuomba. Usichoke kuabudu. Usichoke kabisa. Hawa tumesema kama wangechoka hawangepata haijalishi kitu gani kimeharibika haijalishi mebamoka vipi lift up your voice i say lift up your voice i say lift up your voice my friend lift up your voice to jesus oya mosoko ndale mesando era baba baba shaka ndola masenda la bakota Ela mama sheka do la basera bokande Ukaya mosonda E kapo shaka do la bakata Ela mama mama sheka do la bakati Ela baba baka do la masando
Press on, press on. Press on in prayer. Press on, vocalize your faith. Skuma kabisa ingia katika jina la Yesu. Usiwachwe nje. Usiwachwe kiangaika. Usiwachwe na malaana. Usiwachwe na matatizo. Lift up your voice. Kutoka leo hautaonewa kutoka leo utadhulumiwa kutoka leo utakuwa chini kutoka leo kile kimeharibika kitakuwa saba kutoka leo maadui zako wanakuja njia moja watatoroka njia saba kutoka leo kile ungeweza utaweza kile kimeharibika kitakuwa saba kile kigonjwa kitapona katika jina la Yesu kila ujaona utaona Isima kile cha maji cha uzima. Sema baba katika jina la Yesu. Sema tu baba katika jina la Yesu. Unaijua mioyo yote. Unanijua. Na kushukuru umenionekania. Kutoka leo najua umenitendea. Na maisha yangu hayatakuwa vile ilivyokuwa. Nifungue macho ya ufahamu wangu. Nisaidie. Niwe vile unataka. Mahali sijafika nifike. Kile sijatekeleza nitekeleze. Asante mfano. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Kile umeomba na Mungu akupatie. Mungu aone machozi yako na akuvute machozi yako. Akuondolee maumivu yako. Akuondolee maradhi yako. Chochote kile kimekuweka chini kikuachilie kutoka leo. Na kile umeomba upate katika jina la Yesu. And I want to say from today no stopping place until you make it to the top by the grace of God. In Jesus name. Amen.